In this video we're going to talk about the Trust Issues Trophy and you get this one for completing Chapter 2. Uh, and basically you just get into a series of fights in Chapter 2 as always. Not much different from the rest. But uh, I think it's Hanimora circles you with all of his cronies. And then Kengo tries to take you on. And then after Kengo I think there's a big fat dude, can't remember his name. And uh, yeah, you take him on afterwards, but at this point you probably don't have many skills or whatnot. So uh, easiest way to improve your speed on killing things is having your EX gauge boosted to the full. Uh, obviously you can use items like Stamina and X and stuff like that. If you've unlocked skills already, if you do like mini games and stuff before, like the story gets going. I don't even know if you can on this before a certain point, but... Uh, yeah, always worth it using weapons, using heat actions. The weapon's just demolishing in there, that's ridiculous. Uh, you got your wall run attacks and stuff like that, so there's plenty to choose from. Obviously, once you beat this dude, I think he actually drives quicker in um, Tiger Stance than Crane Stance, in my experience. I'm not sure if that's if you unlock a skill and maybe it does it quicker, but uh, yeah. The big guy comes in, Kojiro Izaki. Looking at him now, he's not actually that fat, to be honest. He's uh, he's just stocky. He's well built, but again, watch out for his attacks. They are quite dangerous. He's got four of his cronies in there with him. And uh, yeah, pretty much would be a useful idea to use uh, heat. What's it called? <laughs> not heat actions, the heat drive. We'll call it heat drive, because I can't think of the word. Uh, but yeah, heat drive here would work. EX boost, that's the one. That heat drive, what am I on about? <laughs> but yeah, that again, every video I do, I do mention this, but when you're in that mode, you can't take damage if you're attacking, by the look of it. So, it's really useful. And uh, if you've got any stamina and X's or whatever, pop them, Tauriners, uh, really useful. Getting down to half health, he comes at you with a QTE. Hopefully you can get that correct, and I don't know if this one does damage, it might do. Could well do. Or it'll just charge your uh, heat a bit. It looks like it just charged the heat a bit, but that definitely helps. So yeah, make sure you get out of his way when he's doing his crazy attacks, because they do some damage, and they do long-lasting damage, which, again, you can only get rid of with medikits, I think. And the medikits, oof. Medikits are, um pretty hard to come by early on. I think you have to unlock them in the sewers via a sub story I'm pretty sure. It's like the only dare shop or something. There's a guy there next to him that's uh, you save some hobo's life I think and then that's it. Maybe you save only dare I can't remember. It's been a long time but yeah that's that's the gist of it. So yeah just uh, give him a good kick in. I can't even remember. Do you fight Hanimura here as well? I, I, for the life of me, I can't remember. Oof. It's a dangerous attack. Don't know what quiet that was, to be honest. Step out the way, man. There you go. Kicked into oblivion. Can't remember what comes next. Do you actually fight Hanimura here, or do you run? Is there a chase sequence? There's a chase sequence. Ah, so Sagira is at the end of this one. So you have to chase down Sagira. And, uh, yeah, basically you'll uh, do a long chase sequence. If you're unfamiliar with the chase sequences, you just press certain buttons at certain times. Uh, when it flashes on the screen, avoid any obstacles whilst you're running. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously there's a lot of left and right and jumping over and dodging things he throws and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, just have to be aware of what you're doing. And then yeah, I don't know if there's a, is there a fight sequence at the end of this, can't remember. I remember these, they all turn up. Is this where he gets on the skateboard? I think it is. This is where he gets on the skateboard, isn't it? And then he jets off. Yeah, he runs off. We run down the road, we see a car leaving, we grab on the back of it with a skateboard. Unless that's a completely different bit and I have to fight them. Can't remember. Is he going to get a skateboard? 
He is, I knew it. Can I borrow this? He never gives it back. He just robs that guy's skateboard. And he never gives it back. To add to the litany of crimes. They are really bad at shooting. Like they are literally like point blank behind him. Running and they, they can't shoot him. And now he's on the back of a car. Makes him an even easier target. You've got uh, QTE events here as well, so make sure you nail them. I think there's one or two. I think the van comes pulling up next to you now and you kick him or something. Do a little kick flip. I don't know what move it is, I just call everything a kick flip. That was pretty snazzy. A little, uh, little barrel roll over the car. Here he is. Even though he had a gun before, he's just waving a pipe for some reason. You just dodge that. Like a G. And then flip into the face. I think that was a kickflip, you know. And then off onto safety over here. And then I'm pretty sure that's about it for this video, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, video. And please like and subscribe and comment if you did. Take care, peace out, thanks for watching.